Welcome to the world of the ancient Maya culture that saw the universe as a living entity, where each movement of the stars and each change in the moon held profound meaning. This wasn't just superstition, it was a complex system of divination that touched every aspect of life. From epic rituals to intricate calendars, the Maya developed a way of looking into the future and reading signs in the cosmos. Join us as we uncover the mysteries of ancient Maya divination. What did they see? What did they believe? And what did they foretell about humanity's future? To understand mind divination, we first need to understand who the Maya were. This civilization thrived in the rainforests of Mesoamerica, spanning what is now southern Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, and parts of Honduras and El Salvador. Although they were a collection of city-states rather than a single unified empire, the Maya shared a deeply rooted culture and belief system. The Maya developed some of the most sophisticated knowledge systems of the ancient world. They created advanced mathematics, developed an incredibly accurate calendar, and constructed breathtaking temples. But above all, their Cosmology, the way they viewed the universe was fundamental to their identity. They believed that everything from the tallest temple to the smallest insect had its place in the divine order orchestrated by gods and celestial forces. In my society, a select few held the keys to interpreting divine messages shamans and priests. These figures weren't just religious leaders, they were believed to have special powers, capable of crossing into spiritual realms communicating with gods and even influencing the future. Shamans known as Ajkin or the one who works with time undertook rigorous spiritual training, learning the secrets of the cosmos and gaining the skills needed to interpret signs from the gods. These rituals often involve entering altered states of consciousness through intense meditation and occasionally the use of hallucinogens. Priests meanwhile were experts in the mind calendar system, which they used to predict auspicious days for rituals and ceremonies. To the untrained the calendars were an overwhelming mess of numbers and glyphs, but to the priesthood they were an essential guide to understanding divine will. Mind divination took many forms, each with its specific use and meaning. From the casting of lots to interpreting animal behavior, the Maya used diverse methods to seek guidance. One of the most straightforward methods was casting lots, often using beans or pebbles. The way these objects fell would be interpreted by the shaman, who would then offer guidance. This practice was quick, easy, and often used for everyday questions or concerns. In times of greater uncertainty or importance, more elaborate rituals were conducted. These included the examination of animal entrails, particularly those of birds which were believed to be messengers of the gods. By interpreting the patterns and colors of the organs, the shaman could divine answers to significant questions. The Mai also used obsidian mirrors to scree or peer into otherworldly realms. These mirrors were believed to be portals, showing visions of the future or messages from the gods. The shaman would gaze into the mirror's dark reflection, searching for clues and patterns that could reveal hidden knowledge. Central to my divination was the Dzokin, a sack or EDR ruling on the AY calendar. This calendar distinct from the solar calendar, was believed to govern spiritual and ceremonial life. Each day was associated with specific energies, gods and omens, creating a cosmic guide that influenced every aspect of my life. The Tsukin calendar combined a cycle of Shusan, numbers WITH are linked on the AY names, each representing a unique combination of spiritual forces. It was not just a tool for team keeping but a means to harmonize life with cosmic forces. Certain days were deemed lucky or unlucky for activities like planting marriage, and warfare. For the Mai, knowing the energy of a day was vital. If a day was deemed unfavorable, they might postpone important events or conduct specific rituals to appease the gods. The Tsukin helped them not only live in harmony with the divine but also anticipate the future. Astrology played a huge role in mind divination and the Mai saw celestial events as divine communications, with each planet and star believed to be imbued with its own personality and powers. Venus held particular significance and was associated with the god of war. The Mai tracked Venus with remarkable precision knowing its cycles and aligning important events like battles with its appearance. It signaled divine approval or disapproval for actions. Eclipses, on the other hand, were seen as dangerous and often ominous events. To the Mai, an eclipse represented a battle in the heavens, a struggle between gods that could bring disaster to earth. Eclipses were time of heightened ritual with shamans performing ceremonies to shield their people from any ill effects. One of the most intriguing aspects of mind divination is the concept of time. Rather than seeing it as a linear sequence, the Maya saw time as cyclical, made up of repeating ages of creation and destruction. This belief influenced their prophecies, including the infamous Arling Yar prophecy. While the Arling Yar prophecy sparked worldwide curiosity, the Maya never actually predicted an apocalypse. December 21, 
2012-2012 simply marked the end of a calendar cycle known as a Becton. For the mind this wasn't the end of the world, but the end of an age. A transition that called for renewal and reflection. The mind believed that humanity had lived through multiple creations and destructions, each age bringing unique challenges and opportunities. Prophecies were therefore not absolute predictions, but warnings reminding people to respect the cosmic balance. Why the Maya civilization declined, their spiritual practices and beliefs endure, particularly among modern Maya communities. Many of today's Maya continue to practice traditional divination, blending ancient techniques with contemporary beliefs still in today's Maya communities. The wisdom of the ancestors is still revered and rituals are performed to honor the spirits, consult the Zokin calendar and seek guidance from the gods. By practicing these traditions, modern mind connect with their heritage and keep alive the ancient knowledge passed down through generations. Modern shamans, or the keepers, still play an essential role, offering spiritual advice and healing to those in need. They are consulted for everything from personal issues to community decisions, embodying the continuation of my divination practices in the contemporary world. The mind saw divination not just as a way to predict events, but as a means to find balance with the universe. Their respect for cosmic cycles, nature, and spirituality has much to teach us today. The Mai didn't attempt to control the future, they sought to understand it and align themselves with the flow of cosmic energies. As we face global challenges like climate change and cultural disconnection, the Mai perspective of harmony with the natural world feels more relevant than ever. Their understanding that humanity is part of a greater cosmic order offers a timeless lesson. In our fast-paced lives reconnecting with the ancient wisdom of the mind invites us to pause, reflect and perhaps even seek meaning in the stars above just as they did. As we conclude our journey through the world of mind divination, we're left with a powerful reminder of humanity's timeless quest for answers. The mind believed that the secrets of the universe were all around us, waiting to be uncovered by those with wisdom to see. Their divination practices remind us that while our world has changed the mysteries of existence remain. Perhaps the greatest lesson the mind left us is this, the future is not ours to control but to understand and respect. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed uncovering the mysteries of the Maya, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for more deep dives into the wonders of history. Until next time remember the stars may hold the answers, but it's up to us to interpret their light.